The date was September 19, the city, Oakland, California, where we set out to find the truth about the mysterious and elusive Adam Abrams. Some claim to have seen him, some claim to have known him, but everyone we spoke with told a different story. Let's see, he has a big bouffant hairdo that comes up to here, um, a lot of mascara, um, hairy legs, big teeth that come all the way down to his chin, a big satanic beard. Teeth. He's very tall, very tall, with glasses. And sometimes you never know what he's wearing. Because he's just a suit one day, the next, the clothes. You'd, you'd, you'd think they were like brought from the street. I don't think such a thing exists. He's the greatest. He loaned me some money the other day. I'm rich. This looks a lot like Harold Remus. Damn. I know he exists because, well, I rode in the same car with him. He's, he saved me spiritually, you know. I was just like this down and out guy. And I was just sitting there on the corner, you know, just admiring the wind. <laughs> well, I was asleep and, and there was a knock on the door. And uh, I went who answered it. And uh, it wasn't anyone I, I knew from before. But, uh, you know, I said, you know, okay, come in. And uh, so friendly enough. And uh, he was talking about how uh, just we needed to be more receptive to the light. And I didn't understand. And then he said it was more like love. And uh, the, the more you were able to uh, accept this, the more fulfilled I would feel anyone, you know, on this planet is what he said, actually. And I said, Okay, and it, it was very strange because as we were talking, I started to feel this warmth, you know, throughout my body. It was really quite amazing. And then it just freaked me out, so I just kind of in my mind said, stop, no. And, and then um, I turned around, and when I turned back, he was gone. I, like, ran into him on the street, and he offered me a ride. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, we're trying to verify if uh, there's a person named Adam Abrams, and we feel he may be on your computer record. Could you check this for us, sure. please? Computer takes a while. And roll full time for screen 89. So he is on there? Yep. Mm -hmm. Is there any sort of description of him in that file? No. Mm -mm. So we can't yeah, really tell anything mean. about what he looks like or mm -mm. where he lives. Well, yeah, his address should be there, shouldn't it? That's confidential information. Uh, there's no way we can get that, can we? I can't give that out. Mm -mm. However, a confidential tip led us to this quiet, innocent-looking neighborhood. Here we found an ordinary-looking house. But who knew what lay behind that door? Perhaps we would come face to face with the mysterious, the elusive Adam Abrams. We decided to enter the house and investigate. We entered through a second story window. Here we were inside this mysterious house. We entered the kitchen. It appeared someone had been here recently. There was a bowl of half-eaten cereal on the kitchen table. The Daily Comics lay nearby, seemingly abandoned. It appeared someone had gone over the comics with great interest. Could that be Adam's room? No matter what the risk, we had to find out what was behind that door.
Norwegian Institute for Advanced Analysis in New Jersey, top researchers have been analyzing data about Adam Abrams for years. Their most intriguing find to date is this computer-enhanced image, formed by a burst of electromagnetic energy and slowed down to a viewable speed. This tantalizingly brief image may be the only one we ever have of the elusive and mysterious Adam Abrams.